Greetings. Today we will address the issue where one or more projects in the solution were not loaded correctly in Visual Studio. Clean and rebuild your solution. In Solution Explorer, right-click the solution and select Show Unloaded Projects. Then, right-click the unloaded project and choose Reload Project. Close Visual Studio, delete files from the bin, VS, OBJ, and temp folders, and then relaunch Visual Studio. This will recreate any missing or broken project dependencies. Run Visual Studio as an administrator. Usually, the solutions are opened directly from the folder location on the drive. It might be helpful to open the solution from within the Visual Studio. Move the project to the default Visual Studio project directory. Using the latest Visual Studio with a project targeting old.NET framework can cause errors. Consider upgrading the framework or using an older version of Visual Studio. Open the solution file in a text editor. Look for syntax errors, missing or duplicated lines, and incorrect paths. Open the project file in editing mode. Verify project references, target frameworks, settings, etc. Review the project's references. Add missing references or correct existing ones. Ensure to review for any conflicting NuGet packages and consider updating or removing them if necessary. If a project is shared among multiple programmers, ensure that the VS folder is also included in the source control. Add the paths of .NET folders to the system environment variable. Copy the SDK folder from the 64-bit.NET folder. Paste it to the 32-bit folder in Program Files. Go to the Tools menu and click Options. Expand Environment and click Preview Features. From the right, select Use Preview of the .NET SDK. Create a new solution and add the projects individually. Or move the solution to a different folder to isolate environmental issues. If the problem persists, modify or update the Visual Studio. Subscribe for more videos like this.